Hello learners, in today's video we will learn about a topic called infiltration. Uh, infiltration which is a major concern for, now, for our internal security. And even if this process of infiltration is so high or it becomes the peak, it uh, goes beyond the threshold, this can even concern our external security as well. It can deteriorate our relationships with other countries, especially the countries which are in and around our uh, country, India, in and around India. So, uh, this kind of problem is of often from our independence, we have been seeing this. So, we will learn about the basics of this concept in the video. So, uh, firstly, first things first, we will learn about the definition, actually what infiltration is meant about. Suppose when people are entering into your country through a process, through visa process or through anything which is legally accepted, then there is no problem. But when there are unauthorized entry or covert entry, where the entry is with like some intention, even if it is not intention, if it, which is not legally correct or legally bound, then that kind of unauthorized entry into one country is called infiltration. So, further in the definition, it is not just about the pe one person, not one individual. It can be from one individual or it can be a group as well. We will see the further reasons why this kind of uh, migration or why, why this kind of infiltration is happening. But first thing first, when it is unauthorized individual or group enters into your country for any reason, for uh, any purpose which is illegal is called inf infiltration. So, uh, major areas where we have problem in our country, where we have this problem of infiltration. So, we know we have, we are bounded, uh, we have land boundary with certain countries and we have maritime boundary with certain countries. In maritime boundary, we major concern is there, it's there, but comparatively to land, uh, land uh, boundary, it is least concern, like 1% or such like that. So, we have problem with Pakistan in the west, we have problem with Afghanistan, we have problem with China, we have problem with Nepal, Bhutan is not so concerned because they are peaceful, we are peaceful, we have very good pact with them, Bangladesh and Myanmar. So, these are the major countries we have problem with uh, regarding infiltration. So, India-Pakistan border, India-Bangladesh border, Myanmar border, Nepal border and China border. Though Bhutan is our bordering uh, country, we don't have problem with them. So, why? Why this countries? Why we have problem with this particular country's uh, infiltration problem is firstly geographic proximity. Anything in their country bad happens. Suppose let us say we know that uh, certain countries which are surrounded in our neighboring countries, we have problem of uh, political stability. There are a lot of political instability. Once dictatorship rises, again once military coup will happen, such kind of instability is happening in and around our country. So, when that problem are arising, because of the geographical proximity, it's easy for them to enter and it's uh, illegally, it is easy for them to enter. So, geographical proximity, porous borders, how much you can deploy, how much every nook and corner we can't go and check, we can't uh, deploy our forces every uh, like uh, every kilometer or even 500 meters, it's not like that. So, uh, given the vast size of our country and given number of uh, countries we share our neighboring uh, uh, number of neighboring countries we are surrounded with, we have porous borders. So, geographical proximity plus porous borders, this both go hand in hand. Then economic opportunities. Suppose, uh, we very well know that we are doing great in our uh, South Asian region. So, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, these kind of countries have problem with economical stability. They are not doing much great than India. So, for economic opportunities, like we, there is a, 
report which says that there is a lot of migration happening from north india to south india for economic opportunity though even if it is an unskilled uh, what do you say work even if it is unorganized work people are ready to migrate within india itself we are seeing this kind of migration because of economic opportunity so why can't we see why don't we see from country to country when your neighbor is doing much great you go seek help that kind of thing is happening in our uh, border uh, areas political and ethnic conflicts as i said if there is a political if there is a military coup taking over or if it is a dictatorship rising if the democracy is ended we will see the neighbors are doing great because of that kind of conflicts happening in their own home they wanted to go for a safer place at last it's human tendency to uh, stay safe here the human survival comes up than uh, your nationalism so for survival when there is a conflict happening in their home they come they come to the near neighborhood country terrorism and insurgency this is the most unauthorized they don't have uh, they don't want to come because of any opportunities but they have an intention to do terrorist or uh, unsocial activities in our country for that thing they wanted to come we have a famous example like pakistan there are some certain groups people trying to come from here from afghanistan all such things so yeah we seen the reasons or we have seen the what are the causes now we'll see what is happening to our country when such kind of migrations or such kind of infiltrations are happening firstly it is a threat to our national security there are sub problems in this within this there are sub problems but majorly this is a threat to national security demographic changes once you took census once you conducted census uh, after 3 years there are uh, people coming from in and around in your country now uh, before and all this kind of ethnic group or this kind of community was not present in the country but because of infiltration there is demographic change happening social and communal tensions you don't know that your neighboring uh, we like uh, i mean to tell is like uh, the neighboring countries do not have the same social structure which we have they have the, the there is presence of different kinds of communities over there uh, likewise uh, different religions we know in pakistan and uh, all such there are different religion they are not hindu major countries so when they enter the majority uh, religion over here they get conflicted so it arises to your communal tensions and social tensions then your economic impact locals will be use, uh, losing the job the resources will be utilized by some other people rather than the locals using it so there is an economic impact political issue this kind of infiltration is very politically sensitive because when political leaders take their this problem into their hands rather giving it to law and order uh, pay, uh, law and order uh, team if they take it there can be rise of communal tensions more beyond beyond the expectations beyond control so we have seen in jammu kashmir and north east india when political people take uh, in their hands there will be political issues happening now what is government doing to uh, what is government doing to control this or uh, to deal with this problem is firstly we have increased our border security and surveillance thing we have a very what do you say border management technology we have comprehensive border management system as well so this kind of initiatives to increase your border security uh, government has taken very good step this uh, this the system works very well it is very well appreciated all over the globe your border security forces we know our uh, assam rifles we know our bsf border security force we know itbp which is on the tibetan region part so this kind of border security force have been strengthened there uh, more people involving in this kind of uh, forces and uh, not just violence not just by pure what do you say not just by like uh, putting a wall but by communication by using our communication conversation skills we wanted to do strategically go and talk to that country that so and so problem is there come let us sit on the table and deal 
so there are bilateral agreements coming out and multilateral corporations coming out to deal this particular problem then we know we have uh, come out with a national register of citizens we will see who are our lo uh, we will use one kind of uh, database we will make a database who the people are there are certain uh, conditions in this uh, in this itself there are certain conditions based on that condition we will prepare a database of our citizens then intelligence sharing and counter terrorism measures a uh, particular country will go and have bilateral agreements if you see some unauthorized or unsocial activities uh, or the groups which are there you please share intelligence with us and even in the intra state i mean what do you say inside our country if maharashtra police got to know something they immediately have to pass with the gujarat police that kind of intelligence sharing even outside india with other countries and inside india within the states as well then legislative frameworks uh we have our uh, passport act of 1920 then we have foreigners act such kind of frameworks are important to recognize your own citizens so this kind of measures government has taken to deal with the problem now uh if we have seen uh, impact we have seen what are the reasons and what are the government doing but still even though government has stepped up and uh, come up with certain kind of initiatives or certain initiatives still we have some challenges there in our book list to deal particular problem this problem firstly it's about uh, terrain as i told you you can't deploy our military every nook and corner and this terrain uh, we know the himalayas how the himalayas are there so it's very difficult for us to do this kind of management resource constraints we have other problems as well in the country to deal with we just can't go deploy our army or we can't invest in our defense so there are resource constraints humanitarian concerns india india as a country believes in non violence we are like you guys come first and then only we will react it's not like just by hearing the word of you guys threatening we go and do action not like that so we have we are concerned about the other people as well other country people who are vulnerable see when a war is happening war is not waged by the citizens of the country war is waged by the leader of that particular country no citizen will sign a referendum or saying that yeah we give consent that our country let us go for a war for the other country no the leader is responsible complex political and diplomatic relationships when we are ready to come and sit and talk with the, the other country come let us talk about the problem they are not ready to come that kind of political complexity is there and uh, deteriorated diplomatic relationships are there and local support and sympathy this is especially we can see in jammu kashmir region because uh, the uh, un uh, what do you say unauthorized people or terrorist groups they come and try to gain sympathy from the local people telling that we also belong to certain community a since you also belong this army is uh, what do you say uh, torturing us or uh, discriminating us or doing uh, very bad things towards us that kind of actions they do and they gain sympathy from the locals and this becomes very very difficult when this happens it becomes very difficult by our military force or by law and order team to go and catch a particular person which is on the listed such kind of incidents we have seen in the recent past as well so now what is the way forward what can be done for a particular problem there would be a very comprehensive list but these are some basic solutions which we can come up with firstly we have to improve our border infrastructure border infrastructure like fencing like uh, intelligence units all such kind of things firstly you concentrate on the infrastructure then go and talk with your people local people do not let other groups take the vulnerabilities do not let other groups go and take the sympathy from that local people or the community we ourselves being uh, being in the defense we have to engage with the local community this is very important uh, this people can also be responsible for sharing certain kind of information where the higher force can't do 
go with the bilateral treaties in india is doing good india has come up forward and uh, is ready to do bilateral talks and diplomatic measures are happening identification systems comprehensive identification system implement your aadhar even at the border for border areas uh, do digital uh, what do you say verification of the people who are entering into the country from the border or the porous regions holistic development border regions completely in your border regions holistically you develop by first thing you improve the infrastructure secondly go and engage with the people who are there in and around build your roads schools hospitals i mean community engagement do this this holistic approach is what is needed in the border areas so this is all about the infiltration topic which is very important in our inter internal security part of the syllabus thank you